small. Yeah. <laughs> you just get this lumpy. <laughs> you know what that means. You could, but you'd waste time. You could graph it and use a vertical line test, but I can see it much easier. If there's two arrows, yeah. I know it's no good. You could, if you graphed it, one goes to four and five, right? Yeah. Two goes to five, and three goes to five. So if that wasn't there, it'd be fine, right? Right. But that's, that doesn't pass a vertical line test. Right? But do you have to graph it? No, please don't have to graph it. You should be able to see it right there. And what does this physically mean? Like if I had one that was like this, how far off the, the floor is the book? If I said four feet off, okay, now how far off the floor is the book? Four feet, Jeff. Now how far off it is? Freaking feet, Jeff. That's what this would be, isn't it? So it makes physical sense. It's just not going anywhere. Makes physical sense, but if you tell me how far off the how far uh, one second how far four <coughs> and five feet, okay, magic book, right? How in the world is that doing that? You guys with me? I mean, that to me uh, is pretty much that explains why <coughs> we wanted to define something as a function and also what the hell it means. It doesn't make physical sense. Okay. So the last way I could represent a function would be. Uh, something like this here. Let me see if you guys get this here. Can you guys see how that's really the same as this? Yeah. Or this or this? Because yeah. what points could I say this goes through? The point. One to three. The point. Two to five. <coughs> the point. Three to four. All right. So is that a function? Yes. Because yes. yes. does any x go to more than one y? No. No, one goes to zero, three goes to four, seven goes to two, everything's fine, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Murder going on the side. It's not the reaction I expected. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. That was a rather, that was a more extreme reaction than a movie. horror movie. So what would I have to do to make it not a function? Um, Change the four to a zero. Uh, the second one, no. one four. If I did this, not a function? What is happening on this? One, 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 two, there's one, murder going on. Is that a function? Yes. 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 No, there's no. Zero. Oh. two. No, yes. One only goes to zero. Yeah. Three only goes to yes. zero. Oh. Yeah, function. 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 So what do I have to have happen to make it not a function? One, one zero, one, one two. Not function. This yes. one. Okay. Because of the one going to more than one thing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Same idea as two arrows coming off, right? If you have a repeating x piece, that's not a function. How are we doing? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. That's because good. the reason why the zero is, is to be a function because that's on the y, right? Why yeah, you, you can there? repeat the y's all you want because that's just sitting, you know, where's my foot? It's on the floor, zero feet. Mm -hmm. Now where's zero feet? Oh. All right, it's all good. Mm -hmm. But if it's like, where's my foot? It's zero foot and two feet in the air. I'm not sure how I'm doing that. Uh, if the y repeated and the x not repeated, is it function? It's fun yeah. we, did function. Uh, we did it right here. Yeah, yeah. Y repeated, yeah. but the x yeah, didn't yeah. function. How, how we <coughs> so you have these little quick shortcuts as that to tell something is function, but they're all based on the definition. Right? They're all based on the definition. For every x, there can only be one y. So don't let the kind of problem trip you up. It's it's. Not bad. So one section, one piece of this section 3.5 is just making x, y tables and graphing. That's nothing new. They're going to throw like some parabolas at us and so forth. Who cares? You just make a bunch of points and you connect the dots. Yeah. Right? That piece of this homework should be pretty simple. Is this one is function. Yeah, so absolute value. Let's look at an absolute value real quick. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. <coughs> How would we graph this here. change the sign of a piece of a number. What's the absolute value of 3 minus 5? It's not 3 plus 5. It's not 8. What is 3 minus 5? Negative 2. And the absolute value of that is? 2. So it's definitely not equal to 3 plus 5. Right? You have to change the sign of the whole number. So can I get what number that is? Can I tell what number that is? Why not? Because I don't know what the hell x is. So what do I do to remedy that problem? What can x be? It could be anything I want it to be, right? So we make little things. Of 
force. Right. Anytime you have a function, we're not sure what it looks like. Start plugging stuff in. Yeah. You start poking it. What's that? Poke. All right, I poked it with a stick. Let me try to poke it with something else. Poke. So when I plug something in, I'm just investigating what this is. So let's plug in zero is always a good place to start. Y2. The absolute value of, of zero minus two, so that's negative two. The absolute value of negative two is it's two. 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 Yeah. Plug in a one. One minus two. One. It's negative one. The absolute value of negative one also is one. one. Yeah. How are we doing? Plug in a two. Two minus two. Zero. Zero is zero. Yeah. Now, some people will stop right there. The unfortunate thing is if I graph those points, zero, two, one, one, and two, zero. Oops, you can do a People will just make a line. But well, what's three? As you value three minus two is, as you value one is one. So at three, you should go to one. So the absolute value is going to look like a V, whereas the parabola looks like a curve. U, right? Mm -hmm. So what, they both turn for the same reason. When I square something or I take the absolute value, can it be negative? So it, it's going, oh, I'm getting negative, I'm going to turn. Right? <laughs> so the absolute value does it with straight lines. <coughs> because x is to the what power? One. First power. It's going to have to be straight. The minute I square or cube or raise it, any other power is going to be curvy. So x squared, can it come out negative? No. But it's still got to turn, so it curves nice. As you value, oh shit! Well, right? You guys kind of with me on that? So you got to know what these graphs look like. So as you value is always going to look like a, a V. Do you see how far it moved over? Two. Two, because this. Yes. Is that the only way to distinguish what x is, is by doing the table, or is there another way to do it besides the table? Well, if you're not sure what it looks like, you pretty much have to do the table. Okay. If you know what it looks like, you can actually use something called translations, but we're not that far yet. Okay. I could just tell how far it would move. Right. You take the original one and move it. Okay. But the table is the basic way to go. All right. So is that a function? Sure. Passes the vertical line test. Right? It's not going to double back on itself, right? Okay. So look on page 239 real quick. Uh, 1 through 10 is just like this. And now you know what to look for. 11 through 20 is just like uh, they already grafted. So you just have to apply the vertical line test, right? Example 5, number 236 page. Yes. Is it function, example five? So if I have a parabola that opens this way, is that a function? No. Because no. it doesn't, no. doesn't pass the vertical line test. If I draw a vertical line, can I find somewhere where there's a yes? So the vertical line test is you just need at least one place, one place. where a vertical line goes through more than once. One so that's why that's why it could be looking really really good and then right there it just goes oops. So right there, oh shit, you see right there, it went back on itself a little bit. Oh, the whole thing's not a function. Then. So it just needs one place. Okay. So is that with five function or not? You tell me. So just like that. This is not function. Not function because it doesn't pass the vertical line test. Four. The input of four goes to two and negative two. That's not allowed. Oh. Okay. Uh, last thing out of this section, I'm going to get to the next section. <coughs> so if you took good notes today, this section should actually be pretty damn easy. Because right? you know what to look for in each situation. This last one freaks people out a little bit. And I, and I understand why, because we have these two different dimensions to look at and they each this axis represents the domain this axis of course represents the range, range. so let me make a, a, three, six, a little more here. detail than normal graph here no this is not three six yet okay
inputs that I can use, right? The main is all the x's. Mm -hmm. So for example, can I use negative 4? Yes. No. Where does it go? No. No. So do you see how it works on a graph? What's the lowest <coughs> range, the lowest range, so the lowest x, the lowest domain element that I can Negative use? Three. That's Negative the three. lowest thing that goes somewhere, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because if I said, okay, when you plug a negative 4 in, what do you get? Can you answer me that? No. But if I say when you plug a negative 3 in, what do you get? The beginning of the You get negative 3, don't you? Yeah. yeah. When you plug in a 0, what do you get? 1. 1. Do you guys see that? Mm -hmm. Somebody's already done the work. Because what do you have to do to make a graph? Don't you have to plug stuff in and get stuff plugged out and then plot the points? Somebody already did all the freaking work. I shouldn't have to do any work. So when you plug in a 4, what the person get? Two. 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 They must have gotten a two. Why? Because that's where they put it. You with me? Mm -hmm. Some people freak out about that too. They're like, well, they didn't even give me the equation. They don't have to. They gave you all the work. Mm -hmm. They already did the work. So what's the lowest x? Three. Negative three. three. Yeah. Right? So the domain starts at negative three. And what I normally tell people is have a little dude. No, just deal with this. This is actually a decent way to do it. Have a little dude walk on the x-axis. What's the first time he sees the graph? At negative three. Yeah. What's the last time he sees the graph? Four. 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 So it goes from negative three up to four. That's the domain. And he doesn't lose sight of it anywhere in between, does he? He sees it everywhere here, right? What about the range then? You have a little dude walk on the y-axis. The lowest where it goes to negative four. So the first time he sees it is negative four, right? Yeah. So the range goes from negative four, so the lowest output I see. Two. Until right. two. And the last place I see it is at two. Right. Up to two. Does you see that? Because domain is the x's, so you look at the x's, you see what x's actually go somewhere. And the range is the y's, you see what it, y's actually come out. Like oh. I was in my head. I was like, "Do I want to make the straight lines? No, I want to make it a possible real function. And a real function that go through all these points has got a curve. There can't be any straight lines that connect all of these. It's got a curve through them, right? So this function could be like a negative x cubed in some way. Trust me on that. So the, the more you know functions, the more you see a, a shape, a shape of something." And real quick, how many turns does a parabola have? One. One. And that's next squared, right? Oh, okay. And x cubed could have like this. There's two. Isn't there two turns? Mm -hmm. So if it has five turns, it could be x to the sixth. And again, that's a little further than we have to go. But I just want to say real quick, that's why I knew there's one, two turning points there, isn't there? That's why I knew it's probably some kind of a cube. How important is that for us? Not... So okay. I don't want to go on too many tangents. That's what I want to ask you, because the x2, two, you said x2, that means it's going to be a parabola, right? Yeah, it's going to look like that. Mm -hmm. And so when you see the v, you know, we have the v shape. It's got to be absolute value. It can't, because oh, okay. it's a straight line, it's got to be a first power, but it turns. It's got to be that absolute value to make it turn. Stay oh, positive. Okay. All right, my favorite sound. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so look at... Um, <coughs> Oh, let me see. Where's that interesting? Look at number 22, I guess. Let me try to recreate it here. Um, 3.5? Yep. 22. 22 looks like this here. Yeah, okay. So it goes like, why? You said x to the third for something. Like it could that. be. It could be. Now it could be also what's called the trigonometric if it keeps oscillating, but we don't have enough information. So we don't thank need God that. that's not the question. We don't need to go there. The question is just what's the domain, what's the range? Okay. Domain what's the domain gonna be? Where's it start? Negative two. Negative two. Negative two. Yeah, negative two is the first place I see it. Mm -hmm. And then you see that two. And then I see it everywhere in the middle, right? I see it from negative two all the way up to two. two. 